Samuel Bolero is gearing up for a big day. Saturday, he will be three months old, and every milestone counts for his mom, Madison. I was so worried. Most expected moms are, but Madison's concerns are unique to Indiana mothers in rural counties. Well, I searched for an OB here in town, and there was only, um, there was one, but he was not delivering at this time. In a town with nearly 17,000 people, there isn't a maternity ward in Frankfurt. A third of Indiana counties have the same problem. That's the big thing. Um, moms come to me nowadays and they'll just say, where am I going to deliver? How am I going to do this? I mean, when you say, I live in a town, but I can't have a baby there, many people are just baffled. Well, what do you do, you know? Frankfurt Hospital shut down its maternity ward in 2017, a year after IU purchased the small rural facility. Now moms come to Libby Smith, a Clinton County prenatal coordinator and former ER nurse. She connects them to the closest doctor and facility for checkups and delivery. We've had a, a client here at our office who had trouble getting back and forth. Husband worked in the daytime, she didn't drive. One of our staff members was pregnant and they would schedule their appointments the same day and our staff member would even help her get to appointments. Um, so it's a real problem. A mom's doctor could be anywhere from 30 minutes to two hours away in rural communities. Madison had three options. Witham Hospital, 20 minutes away in Lebanon. IU Health Arnett, 25 minutes away in Lafayette. Or Franciscan Health Lafayette East, 30 minutes away. Her first pregnancy, Madison's daughter came quickly. So the second time around, she knew a long drive left room for major complications. So I'd actually got to the hospital and delivered him less than an hour. So it was, it was, you know, it's kind of nerve wracking. Those can be life or death things sometimes. You know, if you're commuting too far to a hospital and you go into labor in the car or have complications, um, you know, we can talk about maternal death and fetal death, you know, happening. Indiana ranks third in the nation for maternal mortality. Mothers who died from pregnancy or childbirth complications were seventh for infant mortality. These maternity deserts in rural communities play a role in those alarming statistics. You have a third of counties that are considered maternity deserts in a sense. So what is the state doing to address this issue? What I would say to you is that we are working very closely with our rural counties to establish community health workers or potentially even hire nurse midwives or advanced practice nurses that can work in a county where there are obstetrical services available and go out into counties surrounding them. This year, Indiana Governor Eric Holcomb put Dr. Christina Box in charge of fixing this statewide issue. The State Department of Health Commissioner knows this field well, having worked 30 years as an OBGYN. In order for me to be an effective and a functioning and a compassionate doctor and be the best that I can be for the patients when I'm there, I do need to have time off at some point in time, as do all obstetrician gynecologists or family doctors that are providing this care. State officials say if rural towns have an OBGYN, they can't get time off. Oftentimes they're the only person that is there, so they don't have anybody to give them any relief. So that means 24-7 they're on call and covering for that population. The American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists found that less than 10% of OBGYNs work in rural communities. So physicians don't necessarily want to move to our community, you know. Um, I think it's a great place to live. I've lived there a long time, but not everybody sees it the same. So yeah, to get somebody to move to this um, area is, is a lot to ask. She says in big cities, the physicians often find larger experienced staff, better resources, plus more options for school, sports, and activities. Even if OBGYNs move and practice in rural counties, money for maternity wards is the real issue. That involves not only your obstetrical provider, but some type of a neonatal provider. So usually pediatrics, neonatal nurses, it usually involves anesthesia of some type. And that's 24 seven to be ready for any woman that comes in at any point in time or child that comes in and needs that care. And that's an expensive thing to deliver. Dr. Box says most struggling rural hospitals, which are already strapped for cash, can't pay the price to operate. But that's not good enough for Madison and her baby boy, because Indiana moms and their babies can't afford any more losses either.